There are many different types of U components for different purposes. Looking at the core components, we can divide them broadly into three themes. Components that can display different types of content and data, such as the title, paragraph, and image components. Input components that can receive user input, such as the input field, button, and drop-down components. Layout components that can be used to build and organize layouts from other components, such as container and row. Clicking on the binding icon next to the property values opens up the binding editor. In the binding editor, the component property can be bound to static values, which is the default option, data and variables, formulas, and other component properties. Each property has a type. You can see the type information at the top of the binding editor, as well as from the tooltip next to the property name. The tooltip also describes the property and the expected type of data. Component properties are two-way bound, which means two things. Any changes to the bound value are automatically reflected in the component. Secondly, any bound values in input components will change the binding target value as well. The two-way binding does not apply to formula bindings, which are always one-way. We can demonstrate these behaviors by having a page variable called myVar and giving it a default value orange. Now when we bind a paragraph component's content to myVar, the initial value will be displayed when the page loads. Now let's also add an input component and bind its value also to myVar. Again, as the pages load, the input component starts out with the initial variable value. However, if we change the value of our input, it will now change the variable value also because of the two-way binding, which we can also see reflected in the paragraph component. 